and this isn't the first time I've heard this, but um, uh, the you know studies finding that rather than this um, idea that um, humans age, I guess progressively over time, which I guess we do, but that um, there are two um, sharp peaks during our lifetimes where um, aging um, accelerates, which they roughly calculate to be somewhere in the mid 40s, and then again maybe 60, early 60s as well. Um, that's um, uh, I, I found that quite fascinating um in terms of that whether you feel that or not i'm not entirely sure but um uh i don't know maybe you start groaning more after 45 or something i don't i'm not entirely sure there <laughs> Did, didn't friends do an episode on that uh, <laughs> well uh, you know i think for a, a couple of guys like us who are you know soon to to move into our 40s this sort of news really makes you consider what's going to happen you know uh it's uh it's uh, it, it's interesting to think isn't it because these days you know 40 is the new 30 50 is the new 30 60 is the new 35 70 is the new 40 you know like i think our concept of aging has changed but obviously the physiology of aging hasn't changed so it's very true, and there must be some fascinating data around this, both from the from the study, and this this is a great study. You know, just just to be able to track this and and to be able to say, well, yeah, actually there are there are periods, and and this will mean that the the longevity uh, scientists out there will be focusing on these areas. Why does this happen at this time, and and how do we unlock that? And, and that's, you know, that's the question. But I wonder how this works now in an age where I think age is almost becoming disposable. And in our minds, you're actually 30 all the way to 70 and then <laughs> then you age rapidly at 70. So I wonder, I wonder if, this, if this becomes something that's more um, known or accepted by society that whether we adopt these phys- physiological points in future or whether we just go with the cosmetic surgery until we can't anymore. <laughs> well, that's an interesting question, isn't it? Um, the um, the thing that obviously that comes to mind too is that um, as each year progresses, um, you know, medicine really um, improves and, um, you know, um, uh, health advice, I guess, improves and all that sort of thing. So, um, you know, you're it's not just about the length of time that you're alive. It's also um, how healthy you stay for longer, um, which is something that's definitely improved, um, you know, over, you know, a relatively short space of time, really, because, um, you know, uh, it wasn't really that long ago, just go back a hundred years where it wouldn't have, uh, you wouldn't have lasted as long um, potentially as what you do now, or at least the the chance to last as long as what you can now. Um, and the other thing, of course, just on the, you know, how society kind of picks it up. I was reading a, another article about, I think it was George Clooney saying that, um, he you know, he'd just passed 60 or whatever. And he's um, saying, oh, you know, I still feel like I'm doing everything like I'm 30, like I'm shooting hoops and doing all that stuff. Yeah, but, that's right. but, you know, maybe when I'm 90, that's like a hard number. And uh, maybe I won't be shooting hoops at 90. So maybe we should get um, get cracking and doing um, as much as we can while we still have our health, so to speak. Well, this is a really interesting topic, I think, because, you know, that this idea that we're all 30 now forever until we turn 70 or 90 or whenever it is, to me, I, I find it fascinating. And, and the idea that people would... Um, you know, like, like George Clooney's, you know, sure we participate at that age, but I'm sure we must be a little bit slower or, or, or not quite as sharp. And yet there's potential there for that to change in future. There's potential for with the advances in, in medicine and longevity science that, you know, we may even uh, be able to significantly slow these two aging points in the 40s and 60s if you know where they are in which case then that could mean that we might carry on as if we were 35 all the way to 90 
Oh, wouldn't that be a wonderful thing? And I must say, um, Clooney's doing a really good job of that because he still looks like... Um, I, I didn't pick he was 60 when I was watching an interview of him the other day. He was certainly looking very sharp, but I'm sure he's got some other things working for him in that respect. <laughs> he and Tom, all natural. I love it. 